Hello friends, I'm Brian, and this is Gizmo Board Games, my favorite component. This is a series where I take three to five minutes usually to talk about a component that I like for whatever reason from whatever game that I've come across in the board game industry. And then I talk a little bit about why I thought that component really stood out from the rest. Or just for the game in general, whatever the case is. Uh, generally it's going to be from a game I like, but sometimes that might not be the case. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to do a brief three to five minutes. My favorite component. And today we're looking at my favorite component in Lacrimosa. Uh, sorry for the glare on there. Uh, it's got a shiny box that reflects the light. But anyway, my favorite component in Lacrimosa is the dual layer player board. And dual layer player boards are always nice, but I really like this one because of what you just saw there. <laughs> um, but first of all, the storage for this, like it folds in half. That's pretty cool. A little book. I have chose my player colors. Typically going to be purple, so that's the one I pulled out because that's the one I have on top. But the thing I like about this dual layer player board is it's got the slide and slots for your card selection because you're going to slide a card in the top and that's going to be your action for the round and you're going to slide a corresponding card in the bottom at the same time and that's going to be the resources you generate at the end of the round that you can use next round. And that's really cool that it's got the little card sliding slots so that way that's kind of keeping your round turn order. You know exactly where you are. You know exactly what resources you're going to get. And when you swap out a card because you buy a new one, it's going to slide out and you pop the new one in and you get different resources you generate. It's also got the dual layer place where it's going to hold all the various uh, contributions to the uh, the Lacrimosa, to the symphony. Uh, you're finishing uh, Mozart's final symph symphony. Jeez. And when you help out there, you're going to slide in upgrade cards and just various things on this side. They slide nice in because it's dual layer. You got a place for your cubes here. Again, dual layer. Dual layer board, you know, that's not what makes this one extra special. That's common for dual layer board, but it's pretty cool. It's got all those spots. I like the sliding card area. I love the fact that it folds. And one of the cool things about this is it came with like four languages. And each of those has its own little punch cards. So depending on your language, you just slide in your uh, little player aid there into that spot and everybody can play along and use whatever language they need uh, on their own personal board so that's really cool it's got the place for when you score over 100 points you pop in your little token there i just like it i think these are really neat uh dual layer player boards they make them nice and sturdy they're really great at holding your, all your elements in place you're not going to bump your track uh, for your resource marker there it's got you know all the hints printed on it nicely with the, like I said, language dependent or independent little tracker there, uh, the visual aid there, and then all the tracks and everything. It's just really cool. I think they look really great uh, in there. They got the player color on the outside. They fold up so they fit nicely into the box on top of each other. And I just think these are some really, really great player boards, really great in general two-layer boards that, that work really well for this game. And they just make make the game that much better and easier to play. And so that's why the dual layer player boards are my favorite component from Lacrimosa by Devere Games. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow along and get more from my favorite component series. You can get more reviews, you get more uh, top 10 lists, just general discussion from time to time on my thoughts on the board game industry. I will post one video and one new video a week on Sundays is my current gizmo guarantee. And uh, so I look forward to seeing you again next time. Comment below on some of your favorite components. And if you also like these player boards, if you played Lacrimosa, what are your thoughts on the game? Why not? I've done a review and given my thoughts uh, up wherever up here is. There we go. Uh, if you want to check that out and I will hopefully see you again next time. Bye.